Hello everyone, today we're going to make a apron, which is pretty much a bib slash apron. Now I've already cut out my material, which I make it out of pull, or P-U-L as some people call it, just so it's easy to just kind of wipe down and clean up. Um, I'm also going to bind it with fold over elastic because the back of it from here to here is a connection points on the back of your child's arm. That way it keeps the apron on. They can't pull it up over their head. They can't choke themselves. They can't, you know, have fun with it like they like to do sometimes. So it's more of a safety issue for me. It'll stretch so they can, if they do get caught up in it, they can stretch it and it's not going to choke them or bind their arms or anything like that. Is we're going to sew these sides right where it goes over through the armpits and over the shoulder. We're going to do that so we don't come to the issue of what I just did. And so around it first, and then when we go to connect it, this is going to be raw edges. So, I'm going to go ahead and sew these in first on the side, or I should say up the sides, using that three strip zigzag or a regular zigzag set to a wide zigzag, trying to butt up the inside edge of your FOE to the inside. I use the inside of my walking foot just to kind of keep it all even and square. I do backtrack when I first sew just so it keeps it together and doesn't come apart on us. Oops. Yeah, so we caught that. Stick that up there. And Follow this all the way up this side here. And I'm not pulling on the zigzag or the elastic at all. The fold over elastic. Now when we get to the edge, I backtrack, lift it, go ahead and I cut it right close. To the edge. So what I do is I start my FOE in the back portion that's going to go on the back here and I'm just going to three step zigzag the FOE on. I'm not stretching it at this point at all. Like I said it's really just to bind it and make the straps for the bibs. So we're going to, you can do a regular zigzag the three stop is really just used for stretchability, but the, uh, the normal zigzag works also. So we're going to kind of tuck that in there. And I have it at about almost max for the three step zigzag for the width on it, just to kind of catch more of the binding. And my length is at three. But you want to kind of, I try to butt up this FOE bottom to this part of my walking foot. Well, you've caught the corner here. So I lift my foot. I'm going to turn this. And I'm going to open this up and bring it into the FOE to get that nice corner there. And around. Slowly go all the whole time. I'm not pulling it all because I don't want to gather it. And then around the corner. These are always fun. Just kind of flatten it out a little bit right there where I'm going to be sewing. Stick it back up into the FOE. Lift the foot little bit. Straighten it as much as I possibly can. And make that circle by hand. And then here we go. Up. 
the side here. And then stop, lift your foot, turn it again. And you can use, this is one inch full over elastic. You can use the five eighths or the three eighths or the half inch, either or. I just happen to have this on hand and I do like it for more of a thicker, sturdier strap for the back of their bibs. But I've also made it. I started making them out with the five eighths, so. So now we have come to the side corners here and we're going to take the zigzag down. I backtrack a couple times. And this is our sides where we put the FOE on beforehand and we had cut off the ends. So because you want a little bit of an arm piece here, you can kind of just guesstimate a little bit on where you want it to hit. About right there is going to fit a toddler quite well. For a baby you can probably go a little bit smaller, but I made them bigger just so they would fit longer. So right about there-ish, so that's, I don't know, about three inches. Then I take it and I pull it pretty darn tight, stretch it, and then I do my three-step zigzag down. And I hit about there and I'm going to go ahead and lift this and I'm going to start wrapping it back around the apron. Now you don't have to do the zigzag step down through the arms. If you don't want to, you can completely, you can leave it open. That just gives it the little strap right there. You can leave it open so it folds open like this and that's your strap. Which, I mean, that works well too. I've used them that way too, but it gives it a little bit more durability when you stitch it together like that, but it, it really does not matter at all. And then we're just gonna go ahead and start zigzagging down this side and around. And I go back over top of that, just for durability wise. Follow this around. And here's the fun part. I kind of slowly tuck that in. Come around these little round edges. Bring it around with your fingers. Stop. Lift it. Open it. Tuck it back into there. Kind of follow that around. And then you should be back to pretty much a straight line again. Which, open it back up, stick it in that little crevice, all while not pulling anything. Here we come to the corner again. Side again. And go back and forth for durability again. Put your needle down. And then you're going to grab it about where you need it to stick. Matching the other side, which is about that long. Pull it. So it Stick your arm. This is where your edge, where your armpit was with the last one, and we're going to just goodness get rid of all these threads. Lift this. We're going to end this FOE. Let's go ahead and stick that in there. Overlap this one on top of that one. And so it. 
of that durability. Now I'm going to zigzag it up to here and I'm going to take this because this is where it's overlapping and I'm going to take this, I'm going to flatten it, open it all the way up, flatten it, stick it underneath. That way we can end the FOE and it looks kind of good. I'm going to go back and forth over it a couple times. Take it up. Cut that off. Go back here and trim as close as you can to this section of FOE. And there you go, you're ended your FOE. And now, what I do after this, because it's going to go on the child, like that, their arms are going to come through here. As I take a snap, or two, I stick it in the two corners back here. So they snap together, that'll go around their head. It's snapped, it's easy to get off, it's easy to get on. And they can bust out of it and not choke themselves.